the frozen world of Hoth. Let's go. And there it is down there. Already cold, just looking at it. Pilot? Heading down to Hoth, Captain. The shuttle is prepped and ready. We're just waiting for clearance from the station controller to launch. Very good. What's it like down there? I've never heard of this planet before. Really, what Jack? I, expect? <laughs> I hope you like ice. You've got your ice canyons, your ice plains, some ice mountains. Don't forget the ice really? cats. You ought to try to savor this delay. Every minute you're not freezing to death is a good one. This is starting to sound less and less like a good idea. <laughs> There's a reason I spend most of my time up here instead of on the planet. Before I forget, you'll need this cold weather equipment. If you're lucky, you won't use it much. Everything checks out. You are cleared for launch. You should check in with the commander at Auric base when we land. He'll be able to tell you a lot more about Hoth. Very good. Thanks. Have a safe flight down. Please have a safe flight down because, you know, I'll be on the shuttle. <laughs> Captain, good to see you, sir. We didn't expect reinforcements from Havoc Squad. This is the best news we've had in days. Welcome to Auric base. What's left of it? I'm Lieutenant Lasky. What happened here? Did Republic Command send you? Did they get my distress signal? I don't think your signal got through. The station seemed pretty calm. You don't know? If you're not here to answer my distress call, I, I don't know what we're going to do. We can't hold out much longer. An explosion in one of the speeder hangers knocked out main power. Oh, damn. Within seconds, we were under heavy Imperial fire. Our shields haven't switched to auxiliary power yet. Who calls the shots around here? As the most senior officer left, I've been trying to contact Republic Command. Yep. I don't know what's Battlefield here. promotion. We still have men in the field on a critical mission. Or we did when we were attacked anyway. Between the Imperials and the cold, I don't have enough people for a search party. Please, if you could head out there, you're their only chance. Just give me coordinates and I'll move out. They were headed out to check the long-range sensors. With those running again, we'd have some warning before another attack hit. If you reach them, give them these. Fresh weapons and supplies. And they might make it back. And thank you. Alright, let's head out. Find these guys. And we're off. We've been on this planet about five minutes, and we've already been charged with a rescue mission. Clearly things are not going well for the Republic out here. If we're able to get just, like, ambushed at our primary base of operations like this, that's no good. We need more control of the region. Am I seeing things? I didn't think there was anyone else left alive on this planet. What's the word from Auric Base? It's nothing on the comm but static. I was starting to think they pulled out and left us. Auric Base is in bad shape. They took heavy casualties and they need all the help they can get. See? I told you to stop being so negative. They didn't leave us. They're just nearly all dead. <laughs> what an right. improvement. You're a model of optimism. What about our mission? We can't leave the sensors like this. Oh, don't worry about it. I got your mission. I thought you'd be anxious to get back to the base. Did I miss something? We came out here to check the long-range sensors. They were damaged in the attack, but they're easily fixable. If you can get to them. Which we obviously couldn't. Without the sensors, Auric base is blind. They won't have any warning the Empire is coming. Why couldn't you, you get to the sensors? The arrays, what kind of resistance are we talking about? Online. There are a lot of Imperials in the area, though. Okay. We'd better get moving if we're not gonna freeze to death. See you back at the base. No problem. Go warm up. Get yourself some tip yip in the canteen. Okay, that looks like one of the sensor beacons right there. Alright, that's one down. Okay, they're defending this last one. Let's clear them out. Find the communications control panel.
All right, communications have been restored. Let's return to the lieutenant with the good news. You made it. Welcome back. With the long-range sensors working again, it's starting to look like we might pull through this after all. Glad to hear. Captain, we can't thank you enough for finding our people. This base hasn't had any hope in a while. Those men owe you their lives. Thank you. A few more men and an early warning system aren't going to save this base from the Empire. Gonna take more Sir, than that. A distress flare was just fired from the power relay. That relay is the only reason we still have shields and heat. If the Talls defending it are being overrun. Ooh, the Talls. Orders, Lieutenant? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? There's no need to panic. I can answer the distress signal. Thank you. I don't know what we'd do if you weren't here. Please, go to the relay. Probably die. If you can't hold off the Empire, send up a flare. We'll try to evacuate as much of the base as we can. Alright. Time for some thrilling heroics. I love getting to see the massive shield generator just outside of Auric Base. Really reminiscent of the Rebel Generator on Echo Base. It's kind of funny showing that, like, you know, generator technology has not changed much in the last couple thousand years. Same basic principles. All right, let's see if the tiles are doing okay. What's up, dude? We saw a distress flare went up. Hmm. Okay. When they saw the distress flare, Auric Base thought you were about to be slaughtered. <laughs> Got it. Well, as long as the fighting isn't at your power relay station, you should be good, right? Thank you. Thanks. I'll go try and fix the communication relay to the south. Don't abandon this post. The Auric base will be fine, just make sure that this power relay doesn't fall. I feel like that's a higher priority target. We can withstand an Imperial Onslaught over there at Auric base, as long as they keep that shield generator running. So don't, don't go reinforce the base. Stay where you're at, Mr. Talls. Alright, this is the transmission station. Oh good, there's more Republic troops already in here. When I got a transmission from the Talls, I, I thought it might have been a fluke. This is fantastic. Good. Lieutenant, we're receiving messages on all channels. Crash Outpost is reporting in now. We're not alone out here anymore. Oh, this is going to be fabulous for morale. Yeah, but how many more problems have now been uncovered by this? By the restoring of communications, we're going to find out that there's issues at every single base. With communications back online, you should be able to call for backup. Or at least new orders. Sir. I've picked up an urgent transmission from the Crescent Canyon facility. Putting it through now. News in Ordolan. Oh, shit. Sounds like some trouble incoming. We gotta Ordolan save them. The first people on Hoth. They came here as colonists. Their facility at Crescent Canyon has the best cold weather technology on Hoth. The Ordolans were the first people on Hoth? Lands. I don't think I knew that. That transmission doesn't make me think they're strong allies. They're not great soldiers, but they know Hoth and can travel in the cold to reach our more distant outposts. Try Useful. to reach Supervisor Aldo. He's in charge of the facility. Contact me once you found him. Good luck. You got it. All right, let's make our way to Crash. Save these little dudes. I did not know that Ordolins were the first species to settle on Hoth. I find that very surprising, just looking at their, their creature design. They don't seem like they'd be particularly suited to the cold, but what do I know? The towels, that makes sense. You know, they're all fluffy. They, they're, they're good to go when it comes to, like, extreme cold. Trooper. The Republic has left you alone to die, frozen in the outer rim. Surrender, Who's and Coral the Empire Tullin? will get you back to the core. Propaganda, huh? I might have known.
It's another one of those left holograms. Alone to die, frozen in the outer rim. Surrender, and the Empire will get you back to the core. It's not going to work. Oh, good. We found him. Don't be afraid. I'm not with the Empire. I came to help you. Didn't sound like it in your transmission, buddy. Sympathizers will be rewarded. Those who harbor the anarchists in our midst will be punished. Which would you rather be? You trapped in there? You sound so sad. You've got the best soldier in the Republic out here. This is the safest place on Hoth. What did you do? The Republic stole this planet from your people. The Empire will give it back to you. If you only let us. I see. It's okay. We can we can counteract that intel. We can we can stop Carl before he uses it, maybe. Oh shit, okay. He used it on the big attack. Yeah, that's kinda that kinda screws us. When did you tell him this? Maybe we can still stop him if we hurry. There's nothing you can do. All right, I'm Havoc Squad. We got this. You're all alone out here. The Senate doesn't care what happens to the Outer Rim. Surrender, and you can leave Hoth alive. Go, but the Empire hasn't won yet. There's still time to save your people, if you're willing to try. Damn, well, it kind of seems like uh, Jack Antilles' initial suspicion about the Ordolans not being strong allies might have been correct. Havoc squad to Auric base. Evacuate immediately. The Empire's about to ignite an explosive gas right under you. What? Are you serious? I'll send everyone who can hold a blaster to your position. Try to buy us some time. If this doesn't work, it's gonna get very hot very fast over there. Understood. And thanks. We have a lot of wounded in Colto tanks. We need more time. Head into the mines and try to I don't to think I can give you any more time. Glass. We'll prepare for the worst. Good luck. Alright, let's get into the mines. The Republic has left you alone to die. Frozen in the outer rim. Surrender, and the Empire will get you back to the core. Ooh, boy, am I glad that these ice trompers are docile. Would hate to have to fight them. Alright, let's get down into these mines. Expecting Imperial resistance. Oh? Thank goodness I got to you in time. You're walking into a trap. The Ordolans have betrayed us. What? You were at Auric base, weren't you? How did you get here ahead of me? The, uh, lieutenant sent me here right after you left. We intercepted a transmission from Supervisor Aldo to Corridor, telling him you were on your way. You overheard this right after I left, as in before I even got to Crescent Canyon. Uh, well, I was hoping you'd cooperate, but I guess we'll do this the other way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gotcha. Private Falk. I don't think all of this is above the level. Imperial spies. All right, Private, start talking. How long have you been working for the Imperials? Don't kill me. You've got to understand. I had no choice. Why exactly shouldn't I shoot you? The Republic is looking for some prototype that crashed here. The thing probably burned up in the atmosphere. We're never going to find it. With the Republic, the only way I leave Hoth is in a body bag. The Empire offered to ship me back to the core. Did the Empire's offer specify you'd be alive? It was more of a chance than what the Republic was offering me. Man, come on. What happens to me now? What happens now is you go to prison. I'll have someone come get you. Wait, you're... Havoc Squad reporting. I need someone to escort Private Falk to his holding cell. Falk? What the... There's a strike team on its way. That's another one I owe you, I guess. Thanks. 
You're leaving me on Hoth? <laughs> Couldn't you Poor just Laskin, he has me? no idea what's going on. Don't you move. You're under the custody of the Republic now. Alright, let's get down to the mines. I should have known the Ortolans would never betray us like that. Nope, okay, here we go. And there he is, the bastard from the Hollow. It's spreading propaganda. That's far enough. You must know by now that no backup is coming. You're all alone down here. Surrender your weapons, and I'll see that you're returned to Republic space. Ah, more of your promises, huh? This guy has such a good Imperial voice. I love it. How about you drop your weapons now, and I'll go easy on you. You may be a cut above the troops at Auric base, but you are still just as expendable to the Republic as any other soldier. Surely you understand that this conflict is pointless? Even if you save the base, those men will die here. Yeah, well, One that's just like is worth your opinion, man. Than all the soldiers on this planet. They will never leave Hoth alive. They can't leave Hoth, so it's better to blow them to bits? I see that we're not going to be able to have an intelligent discussion here. Very well, then. I'll make this quick and painless. Quick and painless, you say. Everybody okay? That was a mother of a fight. <laughs> Just in time to stand there and watch. Sh you sure did. I can't believe sure. we stopped them in time. Last minute victories are what Havoc Squad is for. You get used to it after a while. Area secure. Cocky. Well, now you've jinxed it. Here comes the counteroffensive. Maybe you should let the lieutenant know the base isn't about to explode. Eh, let's let him squirm a little longer. I feel like he does his best work when he's under pressure. Nah, that's just mean. He's been through enough. Let's get back there. Give him the good news. Welcome back. I can't thank you enough for this. We've got Private Falk in custody now. He'll be under guard until his court-martial. I still can't believe it. I mean, morale was so low, I'm not surprised command. they could make a deal general with someone Hendo here. General wanted to speak with you when you returned. Tell the general I'll speak with him now, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I'll call him at once, sir. Lieutenant Laskin to Republic Command. General, do you read me? General Ando here. I don't need to ask who you are, Captain. Hey, what up, Tom Kane? Your reputation has preceded you. On behalf of the entire Republic, I commend you. Your actions have saved countless lives. Not only on Hoth, but throughout the galaxy. Is there anything you'd like to say on this occasion? The lieutenant held this place together through the worst possible circumstances. He deserves a promotion. Yeah, pay it for That's good advice. Lieutenant Laskin, you are hereby granted the rank of captain, effective Woo! immediately. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I, I won't let you down. I hope to see you again. We could certainly use more people like you. Good luck out there. Ando out. Yeah, you know, instant promotions like that on the spot. I have complicated feelings about it. Like, yes, you should always be rewarded for doing a good deed, but sometimes you get this phenomenon where, like, Laskin, for example, what if he is extremely skilled and really competent in the role of lieutenant, but he makes a terrible captain, you know? Sometimes you promote people out of their areas of strength. Like, I've seen so many times in places where I've worked where, like, the head cashier, who's really, really good at ringing people up, and, like, he knows the system really well, because he's so good at being a cashier, they promote him to manager, and he becomes, like, a terrible manager. It's like, sometimes people have a skill set, and that's where they need to... That's where they thrive the best. It's it's complicated, though, you know? Everyone should have an opportunity for career advancement, but, like, as a person who has been stuck working under someone who was promoted because of a single good deed and maybe weren't the best guy for the position, that can be rough. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. What the fuck am I doing? Take your helmet off. You're talking to a general, Jack. Well, this is a surprise. Good to see you, Captain. Normally, I'd say Havoc Squad would be better off closer to the front. But we just got a break that could make this the hottest spot on Hoth. Why does this we guy sound like Kirk Van Houten? 
A message from the Chiss? I'm not sure I understand. The Chiss are the Empire's best allies here on Hoth. This message is a phenomenal break of luck for us. Here, I'll let the transmission speak for itself. Republic Outpost, do you copy? I'm under heavy fire and I haven't got much time. I've stolen a data disk of time-sensitive information from Imperial Intelligence. Oh, shit. I'm offering this to you in exchange for Sanctuary. The Empire is hunting me. I don't know how long I can hold out. Send help, and I'll give you whatever you want. You want Harvey to go pick him up? Mmm, this, this could be a trap, though. I've got a bad feeling about this. So do I. But if it's true, we haven't got much time before he and his data disk are gone. If we're going to act, we have to act fast. You want me to go rescue him, I take it. We don't have the manpower. If anyone is going to save him, it's got to be you. Okay. The signal came from a crashed dropship not far from here. Be careful. Bring the Chiss back if you can. But if it does look like a trap, get out. You got it. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to have a pretty short timer on this one. Because it, presumably it was an Imperial dropship that crashed, right? I'm sure Imperials are going to send a scouting team to, you know, investigate the wreckage, see if they can recover the traitor with the data disk. And those reinforcements are probably already on site. So, I'm expecting some resistance here. I mean, this is potentially very exciting for the Republic, though, if we can get the cooperation of a Chiss agent, who famously have only really allied themselves with the Empire. That could be very useful to us indeed. Oh, looks like this is the dropship, maybe. And the Imperials have already staked it out. Damn it. If they haven't found the Chiss already, he must be hiding. Target neutralized. Alright, let's try and punch through. Uh, cryo commando. Can you not hit me with cryo beams? It is cold enough on this planet already. Oh no. Well, I think we found him. That's too bad. I don't think he's going to pull through. My scans tell me that he's definitely dead. Fuck. Alright, let's return to the Major. The target was dead on arrival, but the data disk appears to be intact. It's just as well. I'm not sure the men really wanted a Chiss hanging around here. The Racist? data disk is the critical thing. Let's get a look at it. Lieutenant, we need this decrypted. Yes, sir. This is from Imperial Intelligence. It looks like it's a strategic assessment of the Ortolan Geothermal Power Station. Maps, avenues of attack. They're gonna hit the it. Geothermal Station is currently held by the White Maw. If the Empire takes it from them, we're in trouble. Exactly what will happen if the Empire's plan succeeds? Capturing the Power Station would give the Empire a completely self-sufficient fortified base on our doorstep. Mm, We'd be able good. to launch attacks from there with impunity. We'd never drive them out. So the data disk says, you're all going to die. We don't have the manpower to defend that power station. Once you leave, the Empire could just take it. There's only one thing to do. Destroy it before they get there. Take these remote Mutually charges. Mutually assured destruction. Level the playing field. Time to do some damage. It's not ideal, but we can't let the power station fall into Imperial hands. No, I get it. It's strategic. All right, let's go blow up a power station. It's another day at work in Havoc Squad. I love the look of these big, silly, like, bulbous tanks. They're very, like, Soviet-era retro-futurist, don't you think? Also, one thing about Hoth, because of the lighting, everything is that same shade of blue as glowing objects that you're supposed to click on, so I feel the need to, like, try and click on, like, everything. <laughs> That's gonna be the entrance to the geothermal power station up ahead. We just gotta get some well-planted explosives in there, and this problem will solve itself. 
You want to try actually aiming at the people, Jack? God damn. <laughs> oh, nope. Get away. You can have some of that, too. You're very rude. And we're in. Alright, first charge has been planted. One more to go, and we can blow this place. Before the Imperials get their hands on it. Their grubby mitts on it. Placing the final charge. Oh, what's up, dude? It's time for you to leave. You're gonna have to save the feast for when we're out of here safely. No, we do not have time for a tour. Nobody mentioned there were civilians in here. <laughs> That's one way to interpret it. Yes, that that is what I came to do. At least you have your freedom. Go. Start over somewhere else. Unfortunately, it also represents strategic value, and this is a war being fought. Here's the thing, if I stand and fight for you guys, what happens as soon as I leave Hoth? It's like the Major said, the Empire will just come in and take this place by force. This isn't their one and only way of attacking right now. Ugh, there's got to be another way. Fine, I'm not going to set the charge. The Imperial Army will be here any second. You might want to take cover before they get here. The Major's not going to be happy that I changed my mind. Well, well, thank you, I guess. Maybe they've got some, some battle prowess I don't know about. Alright, Ordolins. Oh, Jesus, here they are. They're already here. Uh, attack! Go loud! Charge, Orleans! Oh my god, look at him go! <laughs> Kick their ass, little blue dudes! Oh, here come more! Oh yeah? Is this going to become an, an autonomous geothermal station? I wish you well. Alright, let's go get chewed out by the Major for not blowing up the power station. Our sensors didn't pick up any explosions. Did something go wrong? Kind of. There... There was a complication. Things got pretty intense. You fought the Imperial Army? On your own? Are you serious? Havoc Squad may just put the rest of us out of a job, Captain. Wouldn't that be Thank nice? You. We all get You'd to go retire. Save the lives of half the soldiers on Hoth. I serve the people of the Republic. There are a lot of people on Hoth who could probably use your help. Listen, I know this is asking a lot, but we've lost contact with Lieutenant Kirill at Santh Outpost. I don't know what's happened there, but I suspect they're in trouble. You get a salute, because you actually outrank me at this point in the story. Thank you, sir. Well, on our way to Outpost Synth, and check in and make sure everything's okay there. I mean, it's entirely possible on a world as, as harsh as this one, climate-wise, condition-wise, 
That outpost synth simply lost power. They let their communications are down for atmospheric reasons. You know, too much snow got on the generator or something. I feel like that must be a common occurrence here as well. Nevertheless, we have to check it out just in case it is Imperial, you know, fuckery. But hopefully it just turns out that there were some womp rats stuck on the, co the cables or something, you know? I conferred with every man in the platoon. Even if we sent everyone we have, we couldn't strike the Brotherhood effectively. Is it Imperial here? Then you see my point. A combined operation might have a chance. You didn't say you had visitors. What are you doing here? We haven't seen a new face in weeks. How did you make it past the Hailstorm Raiders? What's going on here? Captain Biron is here attempting to solve a mutual problem. A group of white mob pirates called the Hailstorm We have mutual problems now? They are savages, frankly. Cultists and marauders from some other ice planet that came to Hoth to test their limits. They hunt and murder those who cannot survive in the cold as they do. Republican Imperials alike. If you came to talk, talk. My men are in the same situation as Lieutenant Kirill's. Cut off, with no resupply possible. If we don't join forces, they'll whittle us down until we leave our outposts in search of food. Then we die. I don't like it, but I gather neither of you do either. What's our plan? What we need is for someone to bait a trap. If we fire a distress flare out on the ice, the Brotherhood will come running to attack. When that happens, my squad can surround them and wipe them out. All the bait would need to do is last until they arrive. If you stab me in the back, I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> I assure you, <laughs> That's if an I expression. wanted to ambush the Republic, I've already had plenty of opportunity. Here's the distress flare. Fire once if all is as planned. Twice if the Imperial help isn't enough. Good luck out there. The Brotherhood knows that ice better than their own backsides. Alright. Well, this is a fascinating turn of events. We've got an Imperial leader teaming up with the Republic to try and take care of a third-party group of mercenaries. And I'll go. I'll do my part. I'll play the bait. I am more concerned with what happens once we've cleared this obstacle and the Imperials no longer have a reason to play nice. You know? What's gonna happen then? Alright. Pirates are hiding all over this place. Oh no! Help! I'm in trouble! I'm so helpless, and I'm firing a flare. All right, Jordan, get ready. Here they come. Surprise! Ah! Nice. Imperial soldiers, you actually came through. Not bad. Let's keep going. Alright, the, the Brotherhood's been dealt with, not for the moment of truth. How will the Imperials respond? You did it. I haven't seen that many dead Brotherhood since we first came to the planet. Agreed. It was efficacious. I'll Thank assume you. that was the Imperial <laughs> equivalent of enthusiasm, Captain. It was. My scouts are in pursuit of the fleeing Brotherhood now. We'll see what they find. Now is not the time to underestimate them. My thoughts exactly. Snow Raptor, this is Hatchling. Come in, Snow Raptor. Go ahead, Hatchling. We spotted the remainder of the enemy force entering the Ice Fortress. Coordinates attached. If the remainder of their force is grouping at the Ice Fortress, they've been badly hurt. It's time to finish them. Captain's right. We're not going to get this chance again. I'm not giving this group a centimeter of purchase. They're all going down. All right. Our priority target is Master Sav. A cult without its beloved leader is a beast without its head. Master Sav? Is Sav he a is force a wielder? Legend among the Brotherhood. We stranded him in the snow once and left him for dead in Wampa country. He strangled one with a taunt-on femur and skinned it with his own claws. Damn. He showed up in the ice fortress weeks later, quite alive. Getting rid of him sounds like a plan. We'll need you to spearhead the team, eliminating Master Sav. Others will secure the turrets and the perimeter. The Ice Fortress will be swarming with Brotherhood. We'll have the teams meet up again in the audience hall. Be warned, the hall is a defensible area. They'll move the big guns there once they know we're attacking. I'll head there immediately. All right. We'll monitor the situation from here. Meet up inside with Sergeant Cacho and Sergeant Enlicker. Their men will reinforce Sergeant you as you push to the audience hall. Go quickly. Let's not give them time to get back on their feet. 
Yes, sir. Thanks. Thank you, Lieutenant. We'll crush these pirates before they have a chance to regroup. Come on, Jorgen, we got work to do. There it is. The Ice Fortress. Ice Crown Citadel up in here. And that's where the Hailstorm Brotherhood are taking refuge. I think they know the end is coming. After all, their little ambush teams got decimated and now all they have left is probably the core leadership of the pirate gang. Huddled in there. Ice Finger Rise. Is that, is that fortress? Is that known as the Ice Finger? It does kind of look like a big old finger, doesn't it? Oh. Imperial bodies. Someone's been through here. Chilling Death Spire. Well, that's an inviting name. Let's do what we came here to do. Let's do this. Trooper, you look pretty cold there. Sergeant Enlick are reporting in, sir. We've received little resistance so far. Sergeant Catchill reporting in, sir. You got here just in time for the fighting. I always hey, do. Sir, your unit. Straight on to the audience chamber. We'll fan out to intercept reinforcements. They're fanatics and they're desperate. Expect no quarter. Right. Taking point. All right. Sir, now that they're Joint gone, operation. Do you seriously expect them to be allies? I'm waiting for the moment when they betray us. Good. Because mark my words, it's gonna happen. They've got Captain B-Ron leading them. I've heard all about him back in the day when I was captured. Likes ambushes, he does. Want to elaborate on that a bit? Think about it. Where'd he learn to surround an enemy force? From hunting the Republic, that's how. And he's ready to do it again. The safe thing to do is, as soon as the Brotherhood is broken, take down B-Ron's men and grab him as a prisoner. Mm. It wouldn't take much. He's back at the base alone. And this lot will fold if we pull it on them surprise-like. I don't know if breaking the trust is a good idea right now. Like, yes, if they're planning to betray us, then it would make sense to get the drop on them. But I don't want to make the first move. This is the Republic here. We're not the, we're, we are not the Empire. If they were enemies, I'd have known us by now. You think you know the mind of an Imperial better than I do? I spent three months in their cells. How about you? I've defeated more Imperials than you've seen in your lifetime. Uh, look... <laughs> I just wanted to warn you to be careful, all right? There's not many of us left. I'll go keep an eye on that sergeant. You take the boys here. Copy that. All right, let's go. Hailstorm defense turrets incoming. Shit. Well, we lost our Imperial backup. I guess that means they can't betray us, at least. Oh, get that turret! Whoa. Look at that statue. That's intense. Did this used to be a temple back in the day? Master Sav, I might have known. God, he's not even wearing a shirt. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't this a surprise? The Republic and Imperials all bound together. What's wrong? Getting cold? Need to share body heat? Guess I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Your humor masks fear. Fear that one day, people will realize they need neither Empire nor Republic. Hell, they don't even need shirts and anymore. your death is one more step on the road to pure liberation. Man, this guy's very intense. I would like to know more about his life story. Too bad he's about to die. Oh, Jesus.
Hang in there, Jorgen. Whoo, we got him. Oh good, and everyone else showed up just in time. I'm still gonna resupply because I don't think the fighting's over. I think there could be an Imperial betrayal coming. That's the room, gentlemen. Take the turrets and secure the perimeter. All units, find an Imperial. Reinforce their positions with small arms. Move out. This is the time. Don't let them dig in. There's no need to escalate this. Escalate? They're gonna have a clear field of fire on us. Catch out. I've just received word from Captain Biron. He's got new orders. You'll find him quite ready for them, Imperial. He's said to clear out the fortress once it's secured. It's too large for us to hold. Is something wrong? Mm, I'm not gonna make the, the, the misunderstanding get worse. He thought he saw another pirate. False alarm. Oh, yeah. I guess things are all fight. Uh, all right. Everything's fine. <laughs> things are all fight. hearing the end of this. Is there anything I can do? Uh, tell your captain that he's dead on about the fortress size. We'll be out of here as soon as all the rooms are searched. Hey, thanks for... Thanks for not making a bad situation worse there. Thanks. I know that there's no trust between the Imperials and the Republic right now, nor really justifiably should there be, but it is important that we don't, uh... You know, kill each other when we've got a common enemy. Reinforcements are really dwindling for both of us, so. I heard about the situation over the comm. Master Sav is dead, and half the Brotherhood tried to flee by jumping off the cliff. <laughs> How'd that well, work for him? Plan. Of course, the irony is that with the Brotherhood gone, we'll be free to focus our tactics on one another. What would you suggest, Lieutenant? 24 hour truce as we return to our outposts? I could grant that when it involves my men. I cannot, of course, speak for others. What do you think? If you ever need to defect, you know who to call. A fine compliment. But after today's negotiations, I will likely be watched carefully. Yeah, this probably wasn't great for your career, allying with Captain. the Republic like this. If only more Imperials were like you. Be careful what you wish for, Lieutenant. Wow. Well, the day's not over yet, and already it brought about the end of the Hailstorm Brotherhood. There's a bigger war out there on the ice, and for once, the Imperials aren't the worst of it. I never thought we'd see the day the Imperials were second on the list. Me neither. Admiral Revald commands the Republic fleet on Hoth, from the surface, no less. He's fighting tooth and nail with the White Maw leaders every day. If you can do for him what you did for us, the White Maw could be a thing of the past, and we would all sleep easier. Alright, Hailstorm Brotherhood is down. Let's go deal with the White Maw. Taking out pirate gangs left and right on this planet today. I mean, for sure, most of Jack Antilly's war resume is about fighting the Empire, but if pirate gangs here on Hoth, if defeating them is the best way to further the Republic's interest, then that's within my purview as well. The Hailstorm Brotherhood has been destroyed, and now we set our sights on the White Maw Gang. Getting close to the Starship Graveyard. You can see it on the horizon there. Admiral? At ease, Captain. I'm Admiral Revald. The Zabrak with the sunny disposition is my chief engineer, Aram. Welcome to the best place on Hoth. Whatever is out there, Havoc Squad is ready for it, Admiral. I don't know how much you've seen of the Republic presence on this snowball, but this is what it's all about. This isn't just a battle for Hoth. We went out here, and we've got the whole war with the Empire in the bag. What makes this frozen wasteland worth fighting for? Spread across that ice field is what's left of one of our capital ships. She was carrying a top-secret weapon prototype. The Null Cannon. It can fry all the machinery on a starship without giving the crew so much as a hangnail. So with super advanced EMP then. Hands, we can push the Empire back to the unknown regions. I thought there'd be a little more fighting here on the front. Don't you worry, son. We got more than enough fighting to go around. We found the wreckage. Trouble is, pirates got there first, snatched up several pieces of our prototype, striking from a hidden base. Hmm. We've deployed the Talls gotta find and that the base. infantry. They're taking heavy losses out there, and we're not any closer to getting the Null Cannon. We can't allow these thieving scum to leave Hoth with a weapon that can take out any starship in the galaxy. 
Fully understood. Sensors detect life forms in the nearby wreckage. The pirates may be making a grab for pieces of the Null Cannon's primary power core. Keep an eye out for anything that will help us track the scum back to their lair. And contact me once all the fragments of the power core are secure. Go out there and bust some heads. Yes, Admiral. Let's do it. So there are components of this Null Cannon, I guess named because it nullifies your ship, right? Hidden all over this place. And one of these White Maw Pirates is going to have a data pad that gives us the location of their hidden base. We've got our work cut out for us here. Score. We've got a data pad. Now we know where their hidden base is. And they look like they're guarding a piece of the cannon. That's the power coupler. Let's go. Sniper captain. Nice. That's two cannon parts and the data pad down. We just gotta find one more. Ah! Good catch. Don't know how I missed that one. Alright. Here's the ship's main computer. Don't love that it's actively smoking, but hopefully it still works. Havoc Squad reporting, sir. The power core is secure and we've recovered a data pad with coordinates for the pirate base. You made quick work of that motherless space trash. Well done. Now our troops can take the fight to them. I hate to interrupt, but the data suggests these components were from the ancillary, not main power core. That's... bad. What's our next move? We panic? The pirates probably have the null cannon <laughs> operational Shit. by now. You'll have to go into their base after it. Hit those sons of huts before they know we're coming. It sounds like something I could do for a few more credits. Shit. Havoc Squad reporting, sir. The power core is secure and we've recovered a data pad with coordinates for the pirate base. You made quick work of that motherless space trash. Well done. Now our troops can take the fight to them. Very good. I hate to interrupt, but the data suggests these components were from the ancillary, not main power core. That's... bad. What's our next move? We panic? The pirates probably have the null <laughs> cannon operational by now. <laughs> Shit. You'll have to go into their base after it. Hit those sons of huts before they know we're coming. Yeah, no, I can do because we've got the coordinates now. Do we know anything about the pirates or their operations that I can use? That data pad puts the pirate base inside a huge system of ice caverns not far from here. Half the scum in the galaxy will be in there. Chief Engineer Aram and a squad of Tals will be on your heels. Once the pirates are down, Aram will secure the Null Cannon for transport. Okay, it cool. It will be the mother of all fights. Good luck. The mother of all fights here on Hoth, and we're not even fighting the Empire. These White Wall Pirates have certainly made a name for themselves. Out of my way! Oh! Oh shit. I can see the cannon. It's huge over there. Ah!
Look at that cannon. Captain Saro. Hold your fire, soldier. Why don't we talk about this like civilized people? This better be good. I would not presume to waste your time. It so happens that I can give you what you came for without any more of that unpleasant killing business. You want the Republic super weapon? Look around you. This hangar is filled with copies of it. One for every ship in our fleet. How's that possible? The Republic doesn't have a monopoly on clever engineers. I propose a trade. You leave here with the weapons, and we leave here with our lives. That's fair, don't you think? I mean, you know, it's really just bad luck for you because I've already made one concession in my plans today. No, I'm finishing this thing. I can't let these prototypes fall into anyone else's hands. And who? I can't take your word for it that you're giving me all the copies. Now that you've shown me you're able to copy it, I need to make sure that no one with that skill set leaves here alive. I have a better idea. I take all the weapons and put a stop to you pirates at the same time. You'll regret this. Come on, Republic, let's go! You can't, I mean, you can't blame a guy for trying, but there was no way we were going to parlay with this pirate. Like, I changed the plan for an Ortolan who didn't want to lose his livelihood. This is a pirate who didn't want to face a repercussion. There's a big difference. The hangar is secure. For now, anyway. You showed up just in the nick of time. You know, if you want to mention that to Admiral Revald, it's fine by me. Huh. I'd better call you got him it, and man. report. Aaron, is that you? Heavy fire. It's a lot of interference. What status? Sir. Heavy fire? At camp, Synth? But there's been a complication. What was the... Breaking up... Secure for immediate... Blast it! I can't get the signal back. Now what do we do? We were sent in here for the Null Cannon, and now we get it out of here. We were sent here for one Null Cannon. Singular. Not dozens. So we destroy the rest. Let's destroy the copies and just bring back the prototype. The forces we have can just about hold this hangar long enough to get the prototype out of here, but the rest of these copies... The other pirates will get here soon, and once they have a weapon that can disable a capital ship, how many innocent people will die? I don't even want to think about pirates armed with null cannons. Neither do I. The only way to keep the copies out of the pirates' hands is to overload the null cannon prototype. Wipe out everything in the hangar at once. But then prototype the Republic doesn't fly, get it either. But I'd rather spend months fixing it than live knowing that even one of these copies was left behind. Yeah, honestly, this is the best course of action to safeguard the Republic, so we're doing it. You're right. We can't let even one of these copies fall into the wrong hands. Stand back. <laughs> they just built this thing. It's already got an icicle on the barrel. Boom! Okay. Null cannon neutralized. He did it with a training sword. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get the transport ready. I'll see you back at camp. Roger that. Well, this isn't going to be pulling anyone out of hyperspace, disabling any electrical systems anytime soon. Hopefully that damage extends to all the prototype copies that we saw. Let's go check back in with the Admiral. It's a shame about the prototype. Blasted pirates must have mucked it up. Those pirates ruin everything, don't they? <laughs> I won't lie, it's a setback. But working or not, the Null Cannon represents our best chance of beating the Imperials. You've hit the Empire where it hurts today. I've already contacted Republic Command. They know what you've done for us here, and I'll make sure the Senate knows it too. Thank you, sir. You're gonna go far, Captain. No doubt about it. Wish we had more like you. We'll have the Null Cannon up and running in no time. You ought to come back and see her in action. It's going to take months, sir. Maybe a year. Engineers, always predicting the worst. Mark my words, we will have that Null Cannon shooting Imperials out of the sky before you know it. I appreciate it your confidence. Work here. If I had a dozen men like you, this war would be over already. 
Thanks. Admiral. Ooh, level 70. Very nice. Seems like a perfect little ending to our Hoth adventure today. We've done it. Alright, time to head back down. And with that, we're done here on Hoth. The Republic Planet Story arc is complete. I really enjoyed it. It really felt immersive, like especially playing it as a trooper, you really feel like you got your boots on the ground and you're helping further every inch of purchase the Republic is able to make on this planet. And yeah, the fighting is intense, the conditions are harsh, we got pirates in the way, we got ancient weapons hidden in the wreckage of a starship graveyard, like it's all quite cool. It's all quite cool. This one is particularly fun, also because being a legacy planet, I just, you know, I can't get enough of Hoth, right? Cool. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my first time playthrough of the Swator Hoth Republic side story arc. Um, these videos come out once a week right here on the YouTube channel, but if you don't want to wait that long, you can join up on Patreon and watch up to two weeks ahead with early access. Um, I'm currently just flying back to Oric Base to pick up my ship, and then I'll be out of here. Um, but you guys can catch me in the next playthrough video coming next week. Thanks again, and as always, may the Force be with you.